Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to Naples in Italy. Um, today I want to shoot a new video and I will use this puppy here, the Leica M6 with 28mm Sumicron lens. And the film that I'm going to shoot is one of the most, yeah, it's, it's one of the most iconic films ever and it's Kodak, Kodak Tri-X 400. And I think I will push it to 1600 to give it more uh, a little bit more contrast and so I can stop down the lens a little further. So yeah, I would say uh, let's do this. M6, 28 Sumicron, Tri-X, Naples, Italy. Let's do this. If you want to know how the film was developed, I pushed it two stops using Kodak HC110 Delusion B. Lighting was very interesting and it might be worth to spend more time in there. Unfortunately, for the next shot, I don't have any footage because I forgot to press record, but I'm showing it to you anyway.
After finishing the roll, I popped in a roll of HP5, also pushed the 1600. However, I only took a few shots since I was running out of light. <laughs> So, all right, guys, here are my favorite prints from this episode. So remember, you can win these prints. All you have to do is just leave a comment below this video and I will pick a random winner within 24 hours. This video goes live and I will ship them to you for free. So, all right, here's the first one. And I like this photo because uh, I like this moment, uh, this boy carrying this letter here and like he's like uh, with this shirt and he looks like a badass <laughs> he's going to be a badass guy when he's old <laughs> i like this a lot it's pretty cool the only thing maybe i don't like too much because is the background because it's a little bit busy but i mean i have no control over the background in this instance so that's fine so yeah really liking this one all right here's the second one and this one i like a lot because uh it's I guess it's obvious, uh, it's the shadow cast by the couple here, um, because there's the, the sun is coming through the roof here, through a window directly onto the floor. And I mean, it's pretty strong and you can see like the, there's a lot of detail in the shadows and even in the highlights. So um, even pushed to 1600, the Tri-X uh, looks pretty good, I have to say. So really pleased with that. So yeah, I like this one. And also because the couple, um, they are, very almost very bright stuff like a white shirt and so they stand out even more from the darker background so that's yeah that's pretty cool all right next one and it's this one here and this one unfortunately i uh, turned off the camera so i did not record when i shot it, it was uh i don't know i mean things happen <laughs> uh yeah i like this one because this is a really nice moment and um composition wise I think it works, even though the legs are cut off, but I don't mind too much. Uh, the bottle here is fine. There's some people here, so maybe it would be great to have something here, but still, I think it's pretty good um, overall. I mean, the tri in here looks also pretty, pretty nice, I have to say. All right, next one. Yeah, it's this guy here. Um, I mean, yeah. <laughs> this guy is really funny i mean uh look at him uh he looks really badass uh with a cigarette here um first when i uh scanned the print i thought this is hair here but it's not just it's not the hair his hair uh but it almost looks like it that is con because it's continuing here it almost looks like this also his hair but <laughs> it's not um yeah i mean this looks pretty good uh i guess he's an artist looks like it he's uh doing some painting stuff there so yeah i like this one all right, and the last one. Um, this was shot on HP5. Unfortunately, though, the sun uh, was setting uh, a little bit too fast um, because I had plans to uh, shoot the whole roll, but that did not work out at all. Uh, but this one, I like a lot. The only thing I wish uh, I wish in that moment was uh, is because this one, it, I think, as far as I remember, it was very colorful, and the rest was already like yeah not so colorful and more monochromatic so i think in color this would work even better but i mean even in black and white i like the the moment uh because you cannot see that uh, somebody's holding this balloon here or whatever you can call it um so it's just floating around here and uh, that looks pretty cool i have to say and also here the hp5 push, push to 1600 
looks pretty nice. You can see some grain where it's very, very, it's, it's almost not visible. Maybe it's because also of the print, but yeah, really, really nice. So this was the last one. And I think this might be my favorite one from this episode. Also because everything's very clean. The background's clean, the foreground is clean. It's already only the group of people here. There's somebody here. And then the, the favorite part of the photo is over here. All right. These are the prints, so like I said, you can uh, win those. Uh, just leave a comment below this video. And also, don't forget uh, to check out one of my zines if you haven't already. And yeah, that's about it for today's video. And um, we'll see each other very soon in the next street photography video. Uh, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And we will see each other very, very soon. Until then, auf Wiedersehen.